Hello, welcome to the, this tutorial. Um, we'll be showing you how to install FFmpeg for PHP 5.4. I'm rather stoked to uh, be able to bring you this tutorial. Um, just recently found these uh, files and so it's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll be using uh, Windows 8 and we will be uh, working with exam 1.8.1. So uh, to get started, you will need to have downloaded uh, FFmpeg already from my website. If not, go ahead and go there and download the correct one. Uh, next thing we'll need to do is go to our downloads folder. And we'll need to go ahead and take this and extract all. And I'm just going to go ahead and extract it where it's at. All right. The first part, we're going to go ahead and grab... Uh, F PHP underscore FFmpeg dot DLL. You may not see extensions. If you don't see file extensions, you can go up here and click on View, and then uh, check File Name Extensions, and that will turn them on and off for you. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and do that, and then we're going to go ahead and copy this, and then we're going to go to our htdocs. I mean, our PHP folder, and exam. Then we'll find our extension directory. And then we're just going to paste that here by pressing Control V. All right. And so I'm going to set that aside for just a second. Now the next part, I'm going to go ahead and go through here, select all of them. And while holding the Control key, I'm going to deselect the README, the LGPL, whatever and then uh, this one right here so we should just have these other ones selected and I'm going to press control C to copy them now what I'm going to want to do is go ahead and go to uh, C drive go to Windows find our system 32 and then just kind of go down here somewhere and then I'm going to press control V and that will paste them. Uh, go ahead and click that. Click continue. All right. So we go ahead and close this window out. Now we're going to go back over here to this one. And then we're going to go to our php.ini file. Like I said, if you don't have extensions turned on, you probably will need to do so by clicking the view and then checking file name extensions. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and double click that and it opened up in notepad and it's fine I'm going to want to find my extensions and you can actually put it anywhere in here but I tend to want to be neat about it so go down here and find where my extensions are enabled They're somewhere here There they are. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in alphabetical order as well. So we'll add extension equals php underscore ffmpeg dot dll. And I'm going to save my changes. Now, with any luck at all, we should be able to restart our. Apache server. We'll stop it. Uh oh. And mine crashed for some reason. Wow. Okay. I'll go ahead and launch it again. Oh. Okay. I don't know why it crashed. Oh, whoop. Maybe not. Okay, wow, that's uh, that's impressive. Okay, so it keeps on crashing. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my services. I'm gonna find Apache right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click stop, and then I'll go ahead and click start.
All right, good deal. I went ahead and started, so that means it loaded the extension with no problems. Uh, the next thing, we'll go ahead and check, uh, make sure that it did load correctly. We'll go to uh, close this out. This is useless for that. Um, we can go ahead and close our php.ini. I'm going to go to my htdocs folder right quick. We'll go ahead and go to, uh, to the exit web page. I can still access by going to localhost. There's actually a page you can click on PHP info. And then what we're going to want to do is go down here and find uh, FFmpeg. They're in alphabetical order. Oh, there it is. I just overlooked it. Okay, so it did load that extension successfully. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and close this out go back to my desktop now the next thing is you'll go ahead you'll need to uh, create a file I create a ffmpeg.php and this is the script uh, I've got it on my website and then you'll the only thing you'll really need to change in here you'll need to change whatever the name of the file the video file that you've downloaded I grabbed one of my uh, daughter eating a bug <laughs> it's pretty gross but anyways uh, so I'm going to be using that for the example and then you'll go ahead and save that once you make your changes and then we'll open up Chrome again or your web browser and we'll go to uh, localhost forward slash ffmpeg.php and as you can see it extracted the uh, information from the file uh, the duration, the frame count, the uh, height and width pixel format and all that so it is working even the codec and there you go uh, so now your ffmpeg is ready to go and that is, concludes our tutorial thanks for watching